I'm going to tell you a story. I'm pressing out of standards. Time does not work the way you think it does. You can call me Oracle. It's not one that's talking to you. Welcome to the call. So, I came up with, and by came up with, I don't mean I, like, this is mine. Um, so, like, I've had a couple songs running through my head. And by running through my head, I mean, once again, these are not actually my songita. Like, I just, I know that they're there, and, like, I just kind of, maybe I just, like, pick, pick them up in a shocky kind of way one day. But, like, um, one is, um, it's, it's, I swear it's, like, it's almost like the song the Salvation Army used to sing. Because the Salvation Army used to have, like, this whole, like, literal actual song that they would have, like, go out in the street and have a band that would play. It was like it was a big deal. If you ever watched or you ever watched the uh, the show Guys and Dolls, like it was a thing. Like the Salvation Army used to have this whole like marching band deal. Um, and that song basically goes, "It's a long, long way to Tipperary." And I've I've started like singing it like my day job last week or something. I started adding a bit more because I started making it about uh, Tertarengar, which is in uh. Um, Irish folklore is the uh, land of the gods, or uh, it specifically translates to land of the free, actually. And a lot of people, when they were immigrating from uh, Ireland, they would talk about America being the land of the free. So, it's a long, long way to Tipperary, tired children of the gods. But if you long for the land of the free, to Tangama be the yard. And then, there's the elephant song. Oh, where, oh, where has my elephant gone? Oh, where, oh, where could she be? I saw her one moment and then she ran off. Oh, where could my elephant be? I know my elephant has a mischievous heart. She's sweet, but she turns to roam. She's always so happy when she sees my face. I just want my elephant home. No one has seen where my elephant went. I've been asking all over town. I pray to God if he'd kindly look up. And all of his angels look round. I pray he asks the devil look up. And he asked their lord to look down. I supposed out loud that the fairies might know, and hoped that they'd ask my, their lord sound. Oh, have you seen my elephant, sir? Oh, you please kindly, madame. And if you have seen her, please tell me right quick, though I know this might seem like a sham. My elephant is like a home to me, just if my home could move around. But I am home to my elephant too, so kindly if you see her there, please tell her that I am looking for her. For home with my elephant's there. I actually kind of made up that last one on the spot because uh, I forgot to finish writing it down. But basically, like, I started, like, singing it when they was like, That ain't my song. I'm happy I found it. I am. But, like, if anyone's heard this song before and it's, like, kind of vaguely disturbed that I know the lyrics that well, please correct me. I'd like corrections if I'm wrong. And if I'm right, I'd like to know that too. Confirmation's neat. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's stuff that can happen from uh, if I'm actually Lord of Hearing, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, so uh, it better not be. But I think Bull Dims might be a tulpa. And, um, if it is, 
it is actually the singing in the dumbest top of that never should have tried top. Like, I'm not saying I'm an expert tulpist. I'm not. But certain things that certain things a tulpa should know better than to try to do, like saying, I'm not a tulpa, out of a tulpa's mouth. That's part of why I was convinced it was a Shakti user as opposed to just like a tulpa, because I'm appalled by the sheer thought that any tulpa could actually be that freaking stupid. But anyway, I'm done for now. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit more deal. Oh. All right. So we just did the uh, the March, the February moon. The March moon, enthusiasm. The worm moon arrives on a Tuesday. Uh, well, actually, no. The worm moon uh, signifies a time of emergence and enthusiasm. Believed to be a name for uh, earthworms that rise from the ground surface and the beetle larvae that appear on tree bark, this is a moon, a moon of revelation and nourishment. At last, the snow and its limitations have melted away, whereas in some regions begin to return to their northern nesting areas, ready to nab some of those tasty worms for themselves and their nobebes. This is a time to self-examine. What activities do you find therapeutic or soul-feeding? What steps or self-discoveries have you taken to satisfy those needs? What Where are you recognizing discomfort for having, cer for having certain needs? Allow the hidden parts of yourself to serve as you end respect. See what's been lying within you as you listen to those deep emotions. You might discover you spend too much time in activities that feed others, but do not feed you. What relationship thanks to his need to change so that you can feel fulfilled? What will allow you to unzagadvara mis? What will allow you to open your heaven's gate? Alrighty. And I'm going to move to April. I'm going to do the Astara one later. All right, April. The April summer is for disappointment. Boo. The full moon of April is the pink moon, named for the wildflower blossom that occur in the northern hemisphere. It occur in night and, um, and the cycle heralds the opportunity for plenty of prospects to blossom. While uh, for some the brightness brings hope, it also brings hope's shadow. Despair is part. Take a moment under the uh, elimination of the full moon to examine what disappoints you. Look at the hopes that that uh, failed or those that you let, uh, that left you feeling betrayed. Sort of uh, sort out the letdowns that belong to you and those that don't. If you are be be sure you know like there's this interesting quote from about meditation um, from civilization uh, back when. Um, Leonard Nimoy was voicing a lot of the, um, narration. And it's, uh, uh, learn what, um, meditation is for something. Learn what holds you forward and, uh, what, what brings you forward and what holds you back. That's very important in, in like, recognizing that in this. Um, if someone has disappointed you with their reaction to you for, for being yourself, Examine the relationship and see you need to carry it on, or if you uh, should also let that go. Where can you express disappointment in a healthy way? That's very important, is expressing disappointment or expressing negatives in a healthy way. Um, that isn't just like, sometimes it's fine to just be like, I don't like this. I have nothing more to add other than I dis dislike this, but I'm going to voice it. Um... And I'm going to try to just let it go at voicing it that, because I don't want to hold on to this unnecessarily. That's like trying to, that is me, like, giving the most generic example of trying to share something um, that you don't like. It's disappointing to you or upsetting. It's like, I don't like this. I disagree. I disagree with this Bhagavad That's This Nakesh keep my Bhagavad This is never my, this is never my heaven's gate. Um... Do you have an opportunity to do something over, or do you need to direct your energy a different endeavor? Write a few notes about those feelings in your datebook. Notes are amazing. <laughs> I'm just saying, I love notes. But well, I did a whole section on the Osnatoria. All right. This is Oracle, gonna sing myself out. Good evening out there, are they ways, are they out? And if you like to talk a bit, be sure to be more like Sal Tome. It better not be a topo, but if it is, they're definitely not like little dams. Boom shakalaka laka Tora we is.